Hey guys, do you want to get pregnant? Do you want to make a baby? No. I'm here today to give you five tips to help maximize your natural fertility, and I'm also going to bust three myths coming up. Dr. Wes Davis coming to you today from Ogden, Utah. Going to talk to you about how to maximize your natural fertility. Now, that does not mean that I want you to go out and buy some superfood or do some specific diet or anything like that. I'm going to talk to you today about some evidence-based recommendations that can help you get pregnant fast. First, I want to give you a little background information. One thing you should know is that age does matter. So basically, the sooner you start, the better. And if you look at the fertility of people under 30 versus over 30, the chances of getting pregnant every month is better the younger you are. Men's fertility tends to decline after about age 50. Okay, so tip number one, how often should we try? If we, if we have intercourse every day, is it going to reduce the chance of getting pregnant? In other words, people worry that having intercourse every day is going to reduce sperm count. Just not true. So there was a study of 10,000 semen analyses. And there, in this large study, there was no evidence that daily ejaculations change the semen analysis quality at all. The frequency of intercourse directly correlates to your pregnancy rate. In other words, the more you do it, the better. The highest chances of pregnancy occurred when intercourse was daily, and that was about 37% per month pregnancy rate. Intercourse on alternating days every other day was comparable, but a little bit lower at about 33%. And it went all the way down to 15% in the group that was only having intercourse once per week. So it's pretty clear from this study that uh, the frequency definitely matters and the more the better. Tip number two, when to try. When is this fertile window? Your highest chances of pregnancy are in the three, day, in the three days that lead up to ovulation. So those three days, daily intercourse, and that's your max chance. Get that back to six days before ovulation and say every day in the six days leading up to ovulation. And that is the absolute max sort of fertile window. But if you really want to focus, then it's those three days. But again, getting back to tip number one, the more you do it, the better. Tip number three, how do you monitor for ovulation? People talk about menstrual calendars where you chart every day and you can sort of count backwards and figure it out. You can do uh, temperature readings. Uh, ovulation predictor kits, and you can monitor cervical mucus. It turns out cervical mucus is the best one. Cervical mucus best predicts ovulation. And this has been studied in uh, several thousand cycles, and it was shown that cervical mucus was the best predictor. So the, really the question becomes, how do you know? How do you monitor your cervical mucus? So the probability of ovulation is highest when the mucus is slippery and clear. You tend to see the most cervical mucus production in the two or three days prior to ovulation. Now, ovulation predictor kits are kind of a close second. The, ma the main thing to know about ovulation kits is that often under predict. So you may miss some of those early days leading up to ovulation with ovulation kits. You may only pick up the last couple days. And that is that you look at your cervical mucus have intercourse every day in the several days leading up to ovulation. If you, if you want to test with ovulation kits, that's great because it's just another way to confirm that ovulation is happening. But the main thing to know is there definitely are false positives and false negatives anywhere from 5 to 10%. So you could be ovulating or approaching ovulation and your fertility test is telling you you're not when in fact you really are. Tip number four, how to do it. There's all kinds of myths actually around this tip and we're going to get to that in a second. The main thing you need to know is the position does not matter. It turns out that you can find sperm in the cervical mucus within as short a period of time as 15 seconds after ejaculation. So it really doesn't matter what the position is, the sperm are going to get there. And your body is built to naturally move those sperm up into the fallopian tubes. So it does not matter what position you're in. It does not matter if you get up right away or if you lay down for 30 minutes. None of those things make any difference. None of those things have ever been proven to make a difference. Also part of tip number four, some lubricants actually can affect sperm motility. So you need to stay away from water-based lubricants like Astroglide or KY jelly. Those have been shown in lab studies to reduce, to reduce sperm motility. You need lubrication. You need to use either a natural lubricant like mineral oil or canola oil. Those have not been shown to, infect, to affect sperm motility. 
or you can use one that is a fertility specific lubricant like Preseed and that's uh, called, what's it called, hang on, Conceive Ease. So those have been shown to not affect sperm motility. So if you need a lubricant, either use the natural ones like canola oil or mineral oil or stick to one of the name brands that's specific for fertility. Another part of myth number two is that the position does not determine the gender. That is complete falsehood. There's no study out there that shows that whatever position you're in is going to have any effect on the gender. Myth number three, nothing else on the internet is true. When it comes to fertility stuff, there's so many myths. Superfood, fertility diets, massage does not. You can't naturally boost your egg quality. None of them are proven to be effective, so don't waste your money. The main thing to know is tip number five, lifestyle does matter. I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna put a slide up here that shows you all the different types of risk factors, like if you're overweight, if you smoke, if you drink alcohol, excessive caffeine, all these things reduce fertility. So do illicit drug use, and the marijuana is also included in that list. In some other situations, people may feel that uh, marijuana has some medicinal benefits. From a fertility standpoint, it actually doubles your risk of infertility. There, there are some links between conventionally grown vegetables and fruits and the residual pesticides on them and potential effects for fertility. So I actually do recommend avoiding conventionally grown fruits and vegetables. I made a video about that already. Maybe check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Sticking to organic fruits and vegetables is probably the best thing you could do for your fertility from a dietary standpoint. Okay, so in summary, age does matter. The younger you start, the better. Frequency matters. The more you do it, the better. Hush, I'm making a video. Number three. Timing is everything. Those six days leading up to ovulation are the best time to try, and I recommend try every day. Cervical mucus is the best way to monitor for ovulation. And finally, lifestyle matters. Okay, guys, well, I hope these tips help you, and I hope these busting these myths helps you to get pregnant fast. If you like what you're hearing, please consider subscribing. If you have questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.